From unlocking our phones to tagging friends on Facebook when we upload pictures, facial recognition technology has a growing number of users. It can even identify us wearing masks. The engine authenticates by focusing on an eye or feature on the face that is not covered up with a mask. The information has proven accuracy and our company has assessed it's 99.9% .9 precise. So I think it's good enough to be used. Facial recognition has been used by governments to spy on their citizens. It's used by police and intelligence agencies to investigate crimes and detect suspects. But what happens when this technology is used as a surveillance tool? Facial recognition has been used by governments to spy on their citizens. According to a report by financial services company, IHS Market, the number of surveillance cameras will hit 1 billion this year. China has the largest number with 560 million cameras. Beijing has been accused of using facial recognition technology to track members of the Uyghur ethnic minority. China's two largest cities, Shanghai and Beijing, are the most monitored in the world. London is third with nearly 630,000 CCTV cameras. Its police department recently announced that it will use live facial recognition cameras for the first time. Civil rights campaigners have significant privacy concerns, although there is public support for an appropriate use of the technology. The Council of Europe has issued a set of guidelines for countries to protect human rights and do away with facial recognition features that are discriminatory. The technology and its users are growing fast, and critics worry that if governments don't act soon, abuses will grow, and there will be little chance for an about face. Vessel Mohammed, TRT World.